Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. We're here for night two of Chef Dance at the Sundance Film Festival. This time we're going in the kitchen with Sean Armstrong, who's here representing his home state of Utah. Let's go inside and check it out. My name is Sean and uh, I'm with the, uh, the montage here in Deer Valley in Park City, Utah. And tonight we're cooking for Chef Dance. Uh, we're putting together a uh, five course dinner for about 300 people. I'm very excited to be a part of this uh, prestigious event. Really, I've just always enjoyed cooking. You know, I was always in the kitchen with my uh, with my grandparents, particularly my grandmothers. And uh, coming from the south, you know, they were really good cooks themselves. So I enjoyed being in the kitchen with them. And it was I just developed a passion for it. And I got into restaurants, uh, you know, young and young in my life when I was in high school and then in college. We're going to start with an uh, amuse. It's a beetroot macaroon, and it's filled with a little bit of foie gras mousse with a Pedro Jimenez sherry reduction. You know, being being the chef that is representing Utah, I brought a lot of local flavor to the to the menu um, and you know I think that's what's special about the menu tonight uh, next we're gonna do a uh, cured salmon it's been cured for about three hours and it's been smoked for about five minutes so it's kind of like a cured smoked sashimi and then that's gonna be served with a little bit of uh, uzu avocado puree um, some blood oranges and a little bit of tangerine lace which is really a really cool little garnish. This is the uh, the cured salmon. It's been cured with a mixture of salt and sugar for about three hours. Basically the salmon is served with a uh, with an avocado uh, uzu puree. I start off with a little bit of avocado pulp. I blanch some baby spinach um, and this is the blanched spinach. I just take this avocado pulp, puree it with the, uh, the blanched spinach and then mix in a little bit of uzu, which is a Japanese citrus fruit. Another component of the dish is a, it's a citrus creme fraiche. We've just taken a little bit of creme fraiche, which is a thickened cream. What's your tip for the at-home cook for the best way to plate something? I think the best way is you just you just have to showcase the ingredient, like I, like I originally talked about. You know, uh, my philosophy is is all about the food. If you have a special product, then you really want to highlight that and showcase that, and put um, other elements on the plate that complement. The, the you know the showcased item on the plate. Why is it important to have uh, deep rich colors in your cooking? I think you eat with your eyes first you know and uh, if it looks good it's going to taste a little bit better. Then the main course we have some Colorado lamb rack. Um, it's a it's kind of a ribeye because I've taken it off the bone and that's going to be served with a charcoal tortellini. We made some pasta dough with some uh, activated charcoal which is really fun. Super black pasta. It's filled with the uh, the butternut squash puree. There's a little bit of that on the on the plate. We've also caramelized some of the butternut squash with some local honey and then we've got some fried crispy Brussels sprout petals on the plate as well as some puffed uh, barley. So what was your favorite part of the meal so far? The wine's been very good. Uh, and I love the salmon dish. The salmon was perfectly smoked, and I like the cut of it as well. Usually smoked salmon is really thinly sliced, but this came in almost sashimi-like portions. My favorite part of the meal was the salmon. Um, it was really buttery and just melted in your mouth. The amuse-bouche was kind of surprising. I expected it to be um, a bit sweeter than it was, but the, the beet macaroon was very nice with the foie gras. Uh, and the, uh, the reduction sort of brought about the sweetness that I kind of felt like the macaroon would actually naturally have. And Amy, what was your favorite part of the meal? Foie gras, no doubt. My favorite part, I would have to say the smoked salmon. I helped make that. It started out as a very small um, macaroon with foie gras, and the first like I, it kind of looked like red velvet with something in the middle, but then when you take the first bite, it's 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 an incredible. It's carnival in your mouth. <laughs> so we're here with Megan Brown, the pastry chef for the evening. Tell us about what you made tonight. Okay, so we actually did some of our signature cake bites, which is chocolate. Um, it's this frosting and cake mixed together, then rolled and dipped in chocolate. Then we also created a custom cupcake flavor that paired well with um, Chef Armstrong's menu. We ate so great and so deliciously that now we have to dance it all off. Well, it's Chef Dance, so let's see your moves. What exactly, do you got? Chef. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. I had an incredible time. The food was amazing, as usual. The chef was awesome, and the people are so much fun. Click subscribe to Taste It, comment in the section below, and let me know what you want to see here at Chef Dance at the Sundance Film Festival.